Hi everyone, my name is Lucy and this is Memory Keeper Journals. Um, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who has been following me and watching my uh, videos and my reels on uh, my stories and all that on Instagram and the new uh, followers that started following me here on YouTube. Thank you for following and I appreciate you guys. Um, I've been pretty ill still um, on and off. It's been pretty rough, but I've been working in between um, trying to uh, just keep my mind busy and doing things in these journals. Um, but I finally finished this blue one. I'm still working on the other two, but I wanted to show the flip through of this journal now and it's pretty chunky and I did a lot of beautiful things in it. It's a writing journal, of course, because you know me, I love writing. And I made it with uh, five signatures this time because the three signatures were pretty thick to actually um, bind into this book. It is a nine by six and it's a two and a half inches spine. And it has plenty of charms in here so that you can take off if you want to and use it somewhere else. A lot of these are handmade by me. And the rest are just simple that I just purchased, but you'll see how pretty they are. And hopefully you like it. Okay, so I only use this ribbon to close it because I didn't do a closure for it. Um, I'm leaving that up to whoever purchased it to do as they like. Um, I can uh, add uh, this ribbon just for them to use if anything but that's what I used. So without further ado let's go in. So this ribbon was gifted to me by Gina at Pretty Paper Dreams um, and this is a beautiful flower. It's like a lotus. I did most of them, all four of them for my spring journals the same. This has a little pocket in here. Let me see if I can show you quickly. But I'm not really going to use it, you know, but you can add a little card or something in there if you want it to or something private. You can add it there. And then these are the butterflies from Gina as well from Pretty Paper Dreams. And then I collaged with some of her um, uh, materials that came in, in some of the packets that I purchased from her as well. I bind it with um, this, uh, what is it called? Um, thread. It's, it's wax thread, yes. And I use that all the time when I'm going to bind my books. It's strong, so... So here's the front of the, the journal. So we have a card from Ruby and Pearl that has a sentiment on it. I did a tag and it's got some fabric and I sewed around it. It's got a collage here with some of that uh, handmade paper from, Ru from Heather at uh, Rose Hill Paper Cottage. And then the back is covered with um, my, uh, rose petal, um, dye that I did. I, I'm sure I have a video on that on my Instagram if you'd like to see how I did that. And it has the sun design of the paper doily on it. So it came out pretty cute. And I figured because it came out purple, it matched perfect with this. This is just my thank you card for whoever purchased it. It's ready for for me to give to them so I'm not going to open that and here I used a cute little bow and a charm and I did a collage here with one of um, uh, Sam Police pictures just to decorate and here's the first signature these um, are from um, Martina at Teal and Tattered and I also used two two of them two of the digitals and i will have them linked below because i'm not going to say all the names but 
I'll let you know. Anyway, here's a secret pocket. And here is a journaling card with some watercolor paper in the background. And this is one of the digitals that I made it look like a vintage um, letter, like a real vintage letter. But this is really a digital. This is 1924. And I believe this is from um, Ruby and Pearl. And then when you walk and get into this page, not walk, I don't know why am I saying that, but anyway, um, here is a pocket with a beautiful fabric and applique on it. I think it's so pretty. And here is a vintage um, uh, paper or like a, a this is, um, it's, it feels like rice paper, guys, but this is a train roster. And it looks like a um, ledger paper. So it's pretty cool. And it's all from 1958. These are one of the items that I purchased from Sacred Mementos. So everybody that I've used, I'm going to put it below. This is one of the pockets that I recently made with vellum. And this is following Ruby, uh, Ming Heather from uh, Ruby and Pearl. And so I added a card and some cute little butterflies in there so whoever purchases can use it to decorate their pages however they like. So I just put them all in here. Oh no, this one was bending. So I had put it nice and neatly in there, but for some reason it just gets, it goes all over the place. So yeah, so I added that in here. And these little baggies are so cute because they're really um, versatile. You can use it for like a little gift, um, a letter, anything. And I just clipped it here with a paper clip with a bow so that whoever buys it can use it for whatever they want. If they want to gift it to someone or whatever. So I used a lot of my um, coffee dyed paper and um, I mean... Not Amity Bloom. This is uh, the book from Edith Holden, Pages. And I glue the pages with some of this um, fabric here, which is um, um, muslin. Okay, so I use some muslin just to um, connect them together. Here is a vintage um, ledger that I made a pocket of right here, sewed it, really cute. I don't know if you can see it, can you see it? And then I added a journaling card with coffee dye paper in the back. This is the folders that I had made. So you can add anything in here, letters or anything. This is just another journaling card. Coffee dye paper. And then here I made this uh, book page that I didn't like the pictures inside of it so I covered it with a pocket here I made a collage here with some uh, things on there and then here you got some journaling cards and then here I have a vintage fake it's not it's a faux vintage letter um, that I folded and put it in here like if it was part of this so it's not a real one, it's just a, just to decorate. And then in here I use some of my avocado dyed paper with the doily design in the background. And I use some Amity Bloom tape for the middle to decorate. And then on the other side, I put a cute little yellow butterfly to match with the ruffle here. And this beautiful picture from uh, Raindrop Lila. And here is a cute um, butterfly charm with some glass beads. And it's just for decoration. So just giving you an idea of what you can do with your pictures. I did give you some extra butterflies and things so that you can use. And then all the vintage papers that you can collage with. And you can have an idea and you can do the same thing with your personal pictures. And a lot of writing space of course with all these vintage papers this is another digital from martina at teal and tattered i originally decided to use all of her digitals for 
these journals. And here is another, um, the other side of the ledger, but I sewed in a cute little doily, paper doily, and I believe these little doilies are from Joanna Clo. And I added a cute little picture from, from Lydia, a raindrop Lila. More writing space, lots of writing space. I left it for the person that uh, purchase it can write and decorate as much as they want and here you have another bead for decoration but there's another very old antique paper from uh i think it's from the 18 18 20 i don't i don't remember 19 or 18 something i can't tell because i don't remember the package that i got it out for but definitely antique as you can tell it has a little hole here from where it was stuck on the binder, but it breaks like easy. So you can use these for collaging. It's just cute paper. This is from a paper pad also. And I do have a video showing how I created these little um, file folders. Well, not a file folder, but a folder, you know, for the journal. Here's another book page and what I did was in one of my videos I also showed how I made these little, um, it's like a receipt roll, a receipt roll that's what it's called. It's not a snippet roll and so I, well it's kind of like a snippet roll but I did a collage here. I used some of the butterflies, some stamps, different types of stamps so I got this kind of stamp and then I did that kind of stamp and then a little journaling card of birds because of course I forgot to tell you guys from the beginning the name of this journal is birdie <laughs> and yes you guessed it because of the birdies this is at Edith Holden here's another blue page it's actually cardstock because it is the cover of the first journal and um, a signature and it has a secret pocket in here and here is another journaling card and this is from that digital from Martina Teal and Tattered. It's the, it's the second journal. I'm using another doily from Joanna Claw. Here's another butterfly. It's a 3D and a journaling card. So this is the second file. Look how beautiful. This is one of the digitals of the birds and the butterflies. They are so cute because they are so whimsical. I love it. It's really pretty. I sewed around it with a light blue uh, stitch so that it's, it's, it brings out the blue on the birds. It's so pretty. And then the greens, of course. It has green, so you'll see it on this side. So this is a flip out. It's actually an envelope. It was a very sturdy envelope that my son gave me and I made it into a pocket here with a collage in the background. Made the pocket with some handmade paper, paper from um, Rose Hill Paper Cottage. Handmade paper. And then I used the pictures from uh, Lydia at Raindrop Lila. This is my favorite place. Isn't that beautiful? I love hydrangeas. They're one of my favorites too. And then I sewed around it. I did a little collage here with some lace. And then it's um, coffee dye paper in the back. So you can write on it. Then when you turn it around on the flip. it's This is a beautiful um, fabric with a flower of blue roses. And then inside I put a picture from this beautiful lady with the hat i love the hat and some uh, background is like bag uh, uh supermarket bag paper that i tore and put it and i sewed it around it with some coffee dye paper so that you can write in the background as well if you like here's some wallpaper from ruby and pearl and then i just put it in here 
and you can use this as a secret pocket as well and you can use the picture somewhere else in the journal so there you go and then on the other side of the envelope I the cover you know the flip from the envelope so I covered it with handmade paper again and I added this picture from Lydia it says timeless I love the little cute house it's like I don't I know you've probably seen this picture but do you see the edging on the roof of the house I just thought that was so cool and I love that window it's like an octagon window it's so pretty but you can also use this little section here to add anything you can add a card you can add a letter you can add anything that you would like to save in here so you can use it as a tuck not much because I meant to glue it only up to here but I didn't I glue it all the way to the edge of the um, handmade paper spot it's okay you still can add something in here to tuck this is a vintage letter this one is is real uh, the date on it's probably on the other side so I put it as one of the pages here I decorated one of the um, hand dyed papers that I did as well with some of my blue inks from uh, Tim Holtz and then I decorated the page with this beautiful ruffle lace and I made a handmade bead to decorate it. Here's a book page that can be covered so whoever gets it. So it has a little shine but you can cover it if you don't like owls. Decorate it. Um, there's a lot of vintage papers included in this so you can change it as much as you like. And here are one of those um, paper clips, um, hidden paper clips. Uh, um, tabs that I made for the book and there was a journaling card in there holding the journaling card so this is how I use it and I just thought um, I think I did a video on how to make these as well so you can go ahead and, and view that video I'm gonna link it below in case you are interested in knowing how I made it and maybe you can um, do one yourself and change it up however you like and show me how you made it so it says a little quote on both sides friendship and sweet tomorrow and it matches beautiful with this beautiful page with the birdies <laughs> look at that isn't that gorgeous it's watercolor watercolor purple blue and it's got some pinks I love it love it love it love it and the other side is pretty too here's the other side of the book of the book page from the owls so cute more blue paper and here's another one i put it as a tuck here so i only glued it here and here i did a collage add a little ruffle and then add a little piece of um, handmade paper so you can use to decorate also your pages if you like and this is part of that um, receipt roll that I made this is the other side of the um, vintage letter and obviously it doesn't have a letter uh, date because this is probably the second page I probably used the first page to collage or something somewhere else coffee dye paper I got another birdie look how weird the, the beak <laughs> it's different this one is so pretty and green I love it it's watercolor in the background it's got splashes it's pretty okay so here's the other side of the folder and you have two more journaling cards so I added one of the pictures from Raindrop Lila and a journaling card in here, sewn with coffee dye paper in the background, and then a butterfly, and here is the third signature again. This one has a secret pocket again, and a journaling card with some coffee dye paper, so you can add anything in here, and it's 
a secret pocket. Here you have a lace pocket, really beautiful, with a vintage um, postcard. So this one doesn't have a name, but you can tell it's vintage by the look of the um, material. I think this one was gifted to me or I won it in one of those giveaways. And I thought it was really fitting to put in this book because of the blue little birdie. And it says a joyous birthday, but you can use this um, for collaging or whatever you would like or cover it up however you like. But it is a vintage um, postcard. Or add it into your collection. More dyed paper. Um, more of the Edith Holden book. Here I put a little charm that says she believed she could, so she did. I've used this before. And then a ruffle of one of the materials that I have. This little bunny. This is a very old um, ledger. You can tell because it's ripping, so you can add whatever you want. Usually, what I would do is put some um, washi tape on it and here's the other side of the book page so you can collage on it and add a picture however you would like to do it and if you like this picture of the butterflies or moth really that's what that is you can leave it but if not you can cover it up here's an, another page so it's a book page of birds here's a cute little vellum pocket with a collage and it says enjoy life and it's got a cute little ruffle down here with some eyelid material and a um, tag with a magazine uh, cover in the background and it has two tickets from the digital that you can write on or use it as a collage as well in it and this is attached to it and I put it in here. Isn't it pretty? And here is a journaling card I made and it's connected to this cute little bow and um, paper clip. And this is one of the pictures with real wallpaper. This is a piece of wallpaper that I have on top of book page. I collaged her picture on here and sewed around it. And in the back has um, a, a this is like a uh, card or something that I had gotten in one of my packages from Rose Hill Paper Cottage when I got the papers. And then this is a vintage, um, actually might be antique, but I'm not sure, 1919 um, ledger. You can tell it's really old. It looks like it's written with pen, also with pencil. And I just, um, went ahead because it's falling apart and I need to be more careful because this will break so I put this card here on top of that page and it's bent so I'm going to leave it like that bent it because that's how it came okay and it's very delicate so you might want to put some tape or collage over it or something Here's the other one with the birdies and the butterflies. Here's a flip out in the other side of the um, ledger. And again, you see how delicate it is? I actually glued a piece of fabric here just to keep it connected so it doesn't come off and it just keeps it sturdier so you can use it, okay? But you can tell how old it is. And then in here, I made a little pocket with this cute um, uh, digital from Heather at Rose Hill Paper Cottage. And when you open it up, you have a cute little vellum tuck right here with a cute little card. And then with butterflies in them. And when you open it up, you have that watercolor design in the background and a doily in the middle so that you can write in it. And then on the other side, there's a lace tuck with a cute little um, tiny um, 
what is it, doily from uh, Joanna Clo. Is that I made it really, really small. <laughs> I made them very small. So I printed them, I think, to four to a page or something like that. They're like picture, picture, like the, the wallet picture size. And so I printed it that way just so I can have a small one. <laughs> and I have a few. I actually, I don't know if I put it in here in this jar, but I have a few that are really, really, really small. Like, I don't know where it is. I probably put it in the other jar somewhere. Oh, yeah, I do have them. Let me show you. I have a few over here that I use for collaging. So I, it's really big, actually, on the digital, but... I decided to print them small. So this is the one that I use in one of the pages. So yeah, I did it like five to a page or four to a page, something like that. Anyway, so that's what I made with this. And it goes in here. And it's a little hard to put it now because I have to like play with this to put it in there. And I think it's because of this. It doesn't let it in so I'm gonna leave it here for now and then I'll do it later and then some um, parent yarns um, uh, ruffle that I use it's a uh, chiffon uh, silk material that's what that is and I've only have a few bits of this left this one of my favorites and I don't think she has these anymore but I'm gonna have to double check and see um, but they're the softest and so yeah and the cute little charm of a key right here to decorate and here's another flip out of those on the other side of the book page cute little looks like a little skirt with a button I just wanted to decorate it. I didn't want to cover the butterflies because I think they're so cute. And then inside is this cute little um, flip out again. I have a little paper clip here with a heart for this one. When you open it, it says, with love always. And it has a picture of a girl. And there's a lot of writing space on this side. And this side has a collage with a cute little... Um, not a butterfly, this is a uh, uh, dragonfly. How cute is that? And I think I showed this one as well in my um, uh, Instagram. I have to do it the other way around so that the heart can show here because <laughs> I wanted to show there. So let's see, this one goes in pretty quickly. I don't know what I did with the other one. I can't really, but you could cover this up, add whatever you want on it and on this side as well. But there's a lot of writing space. Here's the other side of that book page that you can cover because I don't know if you like how the moths are growing. <laughs> Here's another flip out of a, um, what is it called? Sorry, I'm dealing with memory fog. <laughs> what is it called? Ledger, ledger. There. Book from Edith Holden. Beautiful uh, inked page. And again, I did another um, tuck on this side, but this time it's open on the top. And this is part of that receipt um, roll that I made and a very antique piece of paper again that you can use for uh, collaging or whatever creating your own tags and whatnot and here's the back of the journal which is also a cardstock which you can draw you can do whatever you like in here and it has a secret pocket as well with another journaling card with coffee paper and I sewed all of these cards with baby blue some of them are yellow they're really cute with the I tried to use the same colors that I've used in here on the threading as well so these are sewn as well see I use white here but you could see I used white here here is white but this one has blue 
and blue design all around that I sewed around it. So it looks really cute. Here you have our gold lace. I love this gold lace. I only had a little bit left over. And then I added this handmade. I made these bead dangles right here in this beautiful beads to match. And then this is a doily from, see now with this one is bigger. This is the, um, not the actual size. That might be a little bit smaller than the actual size, but it is bigger. And I put it here for whoever purchases can write maybe um, the name of this a specific signature it could be that the signature is just for prayers or this signature is just for pictures and you can write family or whatever so I figured this could be a good spot for like a title or something for this specific signature when you open it up this is a folder so the cover is a folder and then you have another journaling card a cute another of those um, vellum pockets with a collage it has some of this cheesecloth in purple these cute little pieces things i purchased from um gina at pretty paper dreams and here is a cute um postcard digital from uh Martina at Tail and Tattered so you can decorate it as much as you want or you can use it actually as a postcard and send to someone as a card and this is the other side of the vintage letter that was written like on a ledger that's what it looks like and I think I covered the date maybe you can see the date in there no it doesn't have it in there more than dyed paper so i used a lot of my blue dyed paper in here this is from the other digital that she has one of her for this i believe this is the first digital she made so for martina i teal and tattered so i love it so much because it was one of my favorites because it's watercolor as well and then she made the new one with the birdies oh my goodness they're just so pretty here's another uh paper a hidden paper clip um thing again it says be still on this side and it says moments on this side which is really cute and then here it's holding another uh vintage letter from 1949 and i believe it's just an envelope i'm not sure if it has anything inside where would it open here because sometimes it opens yeah and it has like just a little piece of like vintage paper that has like the like the mark of the envelope for some reason you see it just had a piece of paper that is empty you can write on it or you can use it again for decorating and these i purchased i think i got this one from uh sacred mementos as well book page more writing space book page and here's one of the other digitals and look at the middle oh what a color and butterflies and purple and blue isn't that beautiful i love it this has those cute little pom-poms and the lace and so i have to make sure that the pom-poms are out so they don't get stuck in the page so good thing you can take it off if you don't want it in your book but yeah here are the birdies the butterflies I love that page so pretty more of that ribbon here book page writing page and here is a pocket it's a secret pocket see but it has a piece of that fabric so you can add whatever you want here and it's sewn right there and you can do whatever on this side of the page of the book page coffee that paper look how pretty that is in that blue oh gorgeous with a sketch and all how pretty is that and then here there's the other side of the vintage letter then you can do whatever you want with it as well and more pocket space and here's another handmade um charm that i made with some cute little flowers and beads 
and shiny matches perfect with the gold lace isn't it cute so that goes in here and i'll try to take it out and here is the fifth um signature and this one again is made with the cover of the um digital again with the birdies and here's another secret pocket with a journaling card this one has watercolor in the background so you can paint or draw and here you have two pockets so this can look like a just the design this is wallpaper from ruby and pearl so you can actually do some kind of a collage here if you like and glue this one down however you want this is a postcard with coffee dyed paper in it in the background and this is another um like a sentiment or poem kind of thing that's also from ruby and pearl and i sewed around it with yellow um thread and I put it in here the cute little applique flower and this one is a floating pocket with a cute little paper clip in purple to match and pink and it has a journaling postcard inside as well with coffee dyed paper so you can put it anywhere in the book if you like or use it somewhere else I made that with a cute little fabric appliques and some design edge design on it here's a cute little um fuzzy ribbon here's the other side of the ledger letter or the ledger here's another paper clip hidden paper clip this hidden paper clip is so cute it has um pearls and these cute little polka dot material and it says creative and love and that goes in here in this page and i had in the back here another of those quotes into the garden i go to love my mind and find my soul isn't that pretty and i did some messy stitching around it and I used some of that packaging paper. It's the soft, thin paper. So I sewed it onto here with some messy uh, stitching. And put it in here for some more journaling spots. And this is the other digital. I love those daisies. Here's another one. This one is just for decoration. It does not have a pocket or anything. I just glued it there just for decoration. It's sewn on. It's got two different type of stitches. And it has one of those cute little bunny pictures and background from um, that Margaret um, uh, ephemera. Margaret ephemera digital from Braindrop Lila. <laughs> that's what that's from and then the flower fuzzy cut is from martina teal and tattered and this is basically what i made uh, the receipt roll that i have the video on my instagram and this is a book page from edith holden and i just decorated it with this beautiful lavender um or purple lace and i put a cute little flower charm here in my house it's a house or a store i'm not sure oh no it looks like a bank that's what that was oh how fitting a bank and a receipt <laughs> this is what is called a receipt roll so perfect i did that i didn't even do that on purpose so you know but let's make believe i did Kind of like um, <laughs> like what um, Natasha says from Treasure Book. <laughs> oh, what a color. Oh, not that cute? And I sewed around this one with blue um, thread as well. I was into my blue kick, as you can tell. Look how pretty. <laughs> Love that. And then this one has the blue and the purple and I just thought it was so cute to stick out like that. And here you can use it like a tuck as well. 
So I left it big for that purpose. So you can add anything and it will hold it because it's big. But you can cut it down if you don't like it. But I did put a cute little flower and some glass beads on there to decorate. Book page, more writing space. Look at that writing space. How pretty is that? Love the way she did that. It's got some cute little designs in the background of the watercolor. Isn't it pretty? More writing space, more of that soft chiffon, vintage paper. Here's another side. The other side of the journal, I did the same thing. So you can finish decorating if you want to. And some uh, postcard with digital. Um, it has uh, some coffee dye paper and it also has a secret pocket again so those with the cardstock has a secret pocket right on the cover and you have your journaling card so you can add anything in there you can add your letters or pictures whatever you like and then here is a lace pocket and in this lace pocket I did another messy stitching um, poem or or uh, um quote or something that came in that package from ruby and pearl and the kid of quotes and i'll i'll delete i'll link them below i just don't remember the names of them and then i backed it with some of that um paper bag and you can write on it as well how cute is that keep your face always toward the sunshine and the shadows will fall behind you and then in here it has a uh, tag that I made. So the background has some of that um, uh, rose petal inked paper and I glued it onto the tag. It's really soft so you can do whatever you want with it. And it has a um, this beautiful material here with all of these sparkly little um, design on it i don't know what it's called what is that they're really cute and then i did a little collage down here with some watercolor i mean some handmade paper from rose hill paper cottage really cute and it has a birdie i just think it's cute it's the same birdie as this page so you can see see so you can put it there for decoration, however you want to use it. And that's your pocket. And this is sewn with yellow stitching. I think I did it on both sides, in the back and in the front with this beautiful background. This background is from, um, I think this is the page from um, Lorna, I think, Taylor Made Journals. That's where I got this one from, I believe. But I'll make sure I'll write the, the exact um, journal uh, kids that I use, the digitals, and I'll write them below so that you guys can check them out in their Etsy shop. Okay? And that's it for the journal. And then with this journal, I made a gift as well. And the gift is also one of those... Um, folders it's it's a desk um ephemera holder that's what i'm calling it a desk ephemera holder so let me put this here to the side and so what i made was this which is cute it's got these cute little 3d butterflies if you look at it this way can you tell how cute and it's also in the back it has three little butterflies in the back so you have to be careful I mean, it's not supposed to be for you to take it anywhere it's just for your desk so let's say you're working on something and you want to make the ephemera for that specific project that you're working on and this doesn't come off this has some doily a real doily and then a paper doily and then of course it's a collage of all of the papers from I have Ruby and Pearl. I have the papers from Raindrop Lila as well as some vintage collage papers that I had from Rose Hill Paper Cottage. Look how cute the little birdies on this corner. Isn't that pretty? 
So this is supposed to be a desk ephemera holder. So it goes like this and it has all of your cute little ephemera that you need to use or that you would like to use in the next project. So I added a whole bunch of journaling cards and tags that you can use and you can also write in the back. Look how cute. And these came with the digital as well. So I have them all in here. So there's two pockets, one on the bottom and one on top. So this bottom pocket has another one of these little um, bags that I made. This one with the polka dotted material and that fuzzy ribbon. And it's already glued onto the bag so it's not going to come off. But inside of the bag, I added some butterflies and some fussy cuts of flowers that whoever purchased the book can use to decorate their pages with. That's why the pages are a bit blank because I'm giving you the chance to do it yourself. But I did the work for you. So all of your fussy cuts are in here. And here's another journaling card. And this one with the cute little birdies and flowers. And it's got watercolor paper in the background. So you can actually draw on these if you want to. And it has a little charm. So I make sure I don't put it all the way in like that so that it doesn't mess it up. Okay. And I forgot to show you the bottom portion. It's a pocket that I actually used and put a little applique here so that it can hold it, the closure. And it's got 3D butterflies also, so they do open up and they look really cute. Look at it. See, I don't know if you can see it, but hopefully you can. And then inside, it's like a little um, accordion-like pocket. So you can add more. There's a journaling card in here, but you can add a lot more stuff in here if you like, like tiny little pieces. So for example, I have a little folder that I cut, I cut out a few of these cute little vellum. You see these little tiny ones? So if you have things like that, you can add that in here like that. You know, or you can add these little things separated from the folder and, and add them in here because that's what the pocket is for. See, you can add those in here like that. And you can always come in and look for your little tiny things that you have in there. And this, I can't, I can't put these in here because this is for another project that I'm working on right now. But um, yeah, I'm just giving you the idea of what you can add in this pocket. And this pocket is made out of vellum, so you have to be gentle. I did it with vellum, but I did cover it with a a uh, piece of cardstock that had the um, digital from that digital from uh, Teal and Tattered. So then I just squish it in there like that. And this one is the same thing. So you have two of those. So you open this one and here you have another journaling card with watercolor, um, watercolor paper. And it's made out of vellum as well, but you have two pockets. You have one in the back that is kind of tight, but in the front one, like that. Isn't that cute? And then it has those uh, decorated with those um, doilies from, from Joanna Clo. I'm gonna put this in here like that. And then on the back pockets, you will have, let me put this away. Let me put this to the side. In the back pocket, you have one of these um, journaling cards as well. This, this is like a collage in the background. So it looks like you have a card, but you don't. You, it's really a collage. So you have the card right here. And this one is a um, one of those, um, what is it called again? <laughs> again. Oh my goodness, guys. This is my matchbook that I made with these cute little design button ruffles. It's got some material in there. And of course, inside I have um, stapled 
right here you can see the stapler back here which I probably have to fix because for some reason it's opening and I don't know why let's do that right now because I'm gonna forget later so I'm gonna make sure that it's bent so you don't get hurt but yes it has a paper clip so be aware of that and it's paper clip with some of these vintage and antique papers book pages ledgers pieces that I cut out so that you can use as collaging this one has um, some embossing that I did on it with some roses and yeah you can use it to decorate your book as much as you want with those cute flowers and then on this side you have another tag with some of that purple um, cheesecloth butterfly watercolor paper in the back so you can write or you can draw however you want and then a big journaling card the vintage style and then this is a cute little envelope that I made for whoever purchased it as well so you have some extra things to use and the inside of this envelope look how pretty soft material in blue I just love it and then an applique on this side and then I covered it I put a button and I added this cute little string and then inside you have a piece of um, braille paper that you can also use for decorating the book so this is part of the gift the inside is using a paper from raindrop lila to cover that but you can use this uh, braille paper to decorate inside of your journal as well so this is my gift to you for whoever purchases this journal this whole folder is your desk folder and you are able to do whatever you like with it this is my gift to you so that you can decorate your journal however you like i did put a eyelet here and this beautiful soft ribbon in white one side is longer than the other so I leave the short one out and then I flip around the long one until it gets here and then the short one I do the same but I go the opposite and then I come back this way and meet here and do a cute little white bow right here and that's it so this is my gift to you and this is also going to come with a uh, book board for you to have for you if you want to write in this book so that you have um, the possibility of writing in here without having any trouble. So if there's anything obstructing on the other side of the page, like for example here, and you want to write on this page, you can put your book board in here and you can write on this page without a problem. So I will add that as well with this and I will be getting this one ready in the package and uh, listed in my Etsy shop as soon as possible. Um, most likely uh, by tomorrow it should be in the Etsy shop. If I don't get it done today, I will make sure that I will leave a notice on it about it in my um, Instagram and I will let you know that it is listed in the Etsy shop when, so that you can go ahead and, and have a chance to purchase this one. Okay. So I hope that you really liked this. It looks like one of the, the charms came off and I think this one was here. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it on while we're talking because it belongs to you. Look how cute. And I just hope that you really like this journal. I did take a lot, a lot of time to create and 
and um, make this cute little gift for you but I really wanted you to get a chance to be able to play have fun enjoy with your book I didn't want to do all the work in the book and then you have nothing to do I did a lot already but I gave you ideas of what you can do in your own journal and you can add your own ideas in it and this is pretty much what I like to do in mine so um, anyway if you have any questions let me know just be on the lookout in my Instagram uh, to know when it's gonna be listed thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one bye